Welcome to another tutorial by me, Hampstead Hope. Um, this one is going to be on mechanical rigging. I'm going to show you how to make a hydraulic system. So that should be pretty cool. We'll just get straight into it now. Um, so we want to first we want to grab our little cube, go into edit mode, and press S Y uh, 20. Sounds good. Uh, actually, go S Y 2. So now it's 40. It's nice and long. Then press Shift D to duplicate it. So we have two of them. You want to grab it, just move it to the side. Um, then we need to change their um, centers so that they're at the bottom of them. Um, so to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to, for this one, just click there and go down here and go center cursor. If you want to be more exact than that, you can select the object, go in grab the points and then go down here uh, go shift s cursor to selection then go out of edit mode and click down here and center the cursor and it will center it exactly at the end if you want to be all precise and stuff um, so yeah so uh, we'll make a little bigger sort of setup so to do that we need to have this one here and we'll have this one come up here and it goes across sort of like that because um, the diggers actually have like a leverage point here and then the actual hydraulics are on the outside. Um, so we're actually going to change the pivot point of this one by clicking here and going center cursor. So now it'll rotate from that point. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to add to this, you need to add a point where our hydraulics are going to connect to later because of the way I do it um, I'm going to actually parent the hydraulics to a piece of this arm, a few vertices so that when you move the arm that it'll move with it and it'll stay at that exact point on this pole thing um, um, so to do that what we need to do is we need to create some more vertices because if we move these ones away they'll it'll make it look silly um, so if we go into line select mode down here and you want to press B and box select these two lines here then you want to press W and subdivide then grab this new line and just grab it and constrain it across the if you press Z twice uh, come on, do it. I told you to. Um, grab Y, X twice. No. Grab Y twice, right, because Y is the. Yeah. So, um, if you press one of the um, keys twice, it'll give you it so that it moves up and down exactly. Um, I want mine to connect to about there, so it wasn't really much of a hassle moving it. Um, and then what you need to do is press W and subdivide it again, so you have three points there, one directly in the middle. Um, then for this one here we just need to select this line at the end here and press W subdivide so that we have three points at the end of that which will come in handy later. Um, so now we're just going to hide these arms by selecting by pressing H so that they're not in our way while we're modeling and creating our hydraulic system. Now to create our hydraulic system we just need to press space add mesh cylinder. I'm not going to go into too much details on this, it'll just be a cylinder, a nice long cylinder. Um, so I grab it and extend it along, um, then press Shift D, and then you want to do is you want to press A and scale it down so it'll fit like inside it width wise, then press S, Y, and scale it back length wise. Actually, this is probably a little long what we need it for. You can always change it up later. So there we go, we have a, basically a pole inside a pole. I didn't bother cutting out that hole you can if you want to. It's just a little extra work that we don't need to do right now. Um, right, so now that we've got both our objects, we need to name them by pressing N. And going in here, and we'll name this one Hydro for Hydraulics, and we'll name this one uh, hydro two. All right. So then, what you need to do is you need to go to object mode up here, and you need to go down here and go add constraint track two, and you want to track it to hydro. 
and um, you want to change this so that I believe um, it depends which way your object is orientated to begin with, or which way you made it, and, and what views you made it, and all that kind of stuff. So just fill around with this until you get it basically um, right. It also depends on where the um, center point of this is. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make it so that the center point is in the right place by selecting these inverses with Shift S, cursor selection, and we want to go into edit mode and center cursor. So now, when we do our track two constraint, it will move the correct ways, hopefully. Z. So now, if we grab it, it should be pointing to the end of that, and it is. So that's a great success. Um, now what we need to do is just do the same thing for this one, by add a track two constraint on it, and you want to track it to hydro two, and then you want to change it so that Y is up, negative Z or Z, negative Z, right. So now if I grab it, it's pointing in the correct way and stuff. Um, you can't have the same direction up as 2 because it, it screws it up. See, so it doesn't work at all. So Z and Y looks good. Okay, so now that we got that all figured out, we can I go back to side view. And you'll press Alt H to return our arms. And there they are. Then what we're going to do is we're going to grab our piston. We'll actually just scale it down a bit. So grab this one, move it to where that's supposed to connect. And then you want to grab this one here, or other part of the piston, and move it down here to where it's connecting. Right there, that's good. Um, yeah, this is going to look a little funny because they're not really well made, the whole piston thing, but that's okay. Um, so what you need to do is you need to select this part of the piston and then shift select this arm and press tab. So you're going to edit mode. Then you want to make sure all three of these vertices are selected or you can just select the middle one. And then press control P to parent that to the vertex. You need to go back to this and no matter what you do, it'll always move funny. Like, you try and parent it to it, and it it makes the parented object just go spaz away, and, but you move back. Um, so we do the same again with this arm, by selecting this, then shift selecting the arm, and then press tab, and you want to make sure that all three of them are selected, and they are, then press control P, vertex parent, and go back to this object, and make sure it's in the correct position you can tell where it's parented to by that line so just sort of move it to where it's supposed to be and now if we grab this arm bit here and rotate it you can see our piston goes in and out so that's a, a pretty neat little feature and um, that's about it for this tutorial on mechanical rigging I may do a series of different mechanical riggings because there's a, a whole different things that machines have like springs and all that kind of stuff and um, so if you if you want some more mechanical tutorials, then uh, write it in the comments, and um, I'll make some more of those. Uh, if you want to request any other tutorials, feel free to uh, send me a PM private message for all of you those who aren't in the know. Um, and so yeah, I hope I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, learned something. 